We use iterations when we have to go through variables that are a part of a list. In this lesson, I'll show you how to count the number of items whose value is less than 20 in a list. First, define a function that takes as an argument numbers, where numbers will be a certain list variable. The trick is to create a variable that, so to speak, departs from zero. Let's call it total. The idea is that when certain conditions are verified, total will change its value. This is why in such a situation, it is appropriate to call this variable a rolling sum. More technically, when we consider x in the numbers list, if it is smaller than 20, we will increment the total by 1. And finally, return the total value. This means that if x is less than 20, total will grow by 1. And if x is greater than or equal to 20, total will not grow. So, for a given list, this count function will return the amount of numbers smaller than 20. Let's verify if this function works properly. In this list, we have four numbers that are less than 20, right? Let's check that out. Great! Now, if I add 17, for example, somewhere in the list, the outcome will adjust accordingly. 5. Exactly! Perfect! By the way, look how the whole if statement is indented even more to the right. This allows us to separate it logically from the rest of the code in the cell that refers to this function. If you are eager to know how to iterate over a dictionary in Python, and I am sure you are, you will see this in our next video. Thank you for watching.